All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to turn your iPhone XS Max to the iPhone 11 Max Pro. Now for this, you are gonna need a camera lens here. This camera lens cost me around, I'll say seven to eight dollars, and this is how it basically looks like. As you can see on the back, we got different types of colors here. And um, if you want to buy this camera lens, I am gonna include the title of this camera lens on the description down below. So let me start by taking out the camera lens here real quick remove it like this you could slide it or just remove it upwards so this is the camera lens itself um, this uh, there is some plastic here let me take this off real quick so after I took off the plastic off of the camera lenses um, this is um, plastic here this material is not glass but it's only plastic um, the back of this camera lens is plastic as well um, as you can see here this is the camera lens here and this is how it basically looks like. It looks pretty realistic. It basically looks like an Android camera lens. And of course the flash is not functional. It's just there for the looks. So um, on the back, we do have this adhesive here at the back. Let me show you guys how the adhesive looks like. As you can see there, it's pretty sticky. So I'm trying to run my fingers through and it's pretty sticky. So let me start by installing it on my iPhone XS Max. You have to keep in mind when you install these lenses, the, the flash is not going to work because it's going to block it right in between. So let me start by installing it here real quick. Just lay it right over and just stick it to the phone. As you can see, it's pretty much a quick and easy installation there. And it's pretty much good to go from there. This is how the phone basically looks like. You know, um, the camera lens, the camera lens does stick out. Um, let me compare it to my iPhone 11 Max here. And as you can see there, this is the two differences between each other. And let me show you guys the side here between both phones. The XS Max, the camera lens sticks out way more than the 11. Okay, so let me show you guys the flash on the phone here. Right now it's turned on. And as you can see there, it's 100% blocked off. So let me show you guys how it actually looks with the camera lens installed. The paper here, let me um, put the phone right over it. And there's basically no difference at all. I could zoom in real good. As you can see, we could see the adhesive on this um, package here. You can see the adhesive real good. You can see the fonts real good as well. Uh, let me try by flipping this over here. So you can see the numbers on the, at, the, at the bottom. You can see the barcode. You could also see the fonts on the top there with the picture quality and the color. So basically the camera lens does not affect it at all. Okay, now when you do put the camera lens on, you gotta keep in mind that the microphone is gonna be partially blocked off. But once the camera lens is installed, it will not block 100% of the noise. You could still record using the back microphone of this camera. So let me show you guys a quick video clip here. All right, so this is the iPhone. Okay, all right, so this is the iPhone XS Max. I'm testing out the phone with the camera lens installed. So this is how it basically looks on the iPhone XS Max. Um, I do have another video like this, but with a different camera lens. And the camera lens that I have on the other video, it's, it's much lower quality. The quality is much lower. It looks less realistic because this camera has the three bulges on top of here, just like on the iPhone 11. And so far for only $7, that's how much I bought this for. Um, it's partially worth it, but you gotta keep in mind that the flash does not work with this camera lens. With the first camera lens that I did a review on, the, the flash did um, sh uh, shine through the, the camera lens because it was partially see-through, but this one, it's not see-through at all. This is 100% black plastic right under it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.